Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel Codemade Mastery. In today's video, we will be solving some important practice questions from the section Coding Guidelines for the year 2025. This is very important. In the CPC exam, there will be 7 questions from Coding Guidelines. Questions will be asked from ICD 10CM Guidelines, CPT, Modifier Use and Parenthetical Notes. Let's start with the first question. Before that, don't forget to support my channel by liking and sharing this video and also subscribing. This is the first question. In CPT coding, when two procedures are performed together but are not normally reported together, you should Option A. Unbundle the services. Option B. Use a single bundled code. Option C. Apply modifier 59 and Option D. Report only the primary procedure. The correct answer for this question is Option C. Modifier 59 is used to indicate that two procedures are distinct and unrelated, preventing unbundling errors when services typically bundled together are performed separately. Next question. Which of the following scenarios would require the use of modifier 59 to indicate a distinct procedural service? Option A. Two procedures performed on the same organ. Option B. Two unrelated procedures performed at the same visit. Option C. A complex procedure bundled into a simpler one. Option D. A diagnostic service done with a therapeutic procedure. The correct answer is Option B. Two unrelated procedures performed at the same visit. Why? Because modifier 59 is used to indicate that two procedures performed on the same day are distinct and it should be reported separately. It should not be used when the procedures are related. Next question. Which of the following is true regarding ICD-10CM codes? Option A. ICD codes are only used for diagnostic coding in inpatient settings. Option B. Every code in ICD-10CM must be specific to the condition and include all relevant details. Option C. The first listed diagnosis must always be the primary diagnosis. Option D. You can use a broad code for any condition as long as it falls under the same chapter. The right answer is Option B. Every code in ICD-10CM must be specific to the condition and include all relevant details. Coders must always select the most detailed and specific code available which reflects the patient's exact condition. Next question. Which of the following services is not covered under the Global Surgical Package? Option A. Pre-operative visits. Option B. Inpatient care. Option C. Post-operative care within the global period. Option D. Follow-up visit for an unrelated issue. The right answer is Option D because the global surgical package includes services such as pre-operative, intraoperative and post-operative care. But routine follow-up visits that are unrelated to the surgical procedure are excluded. Next question. Which of the following is correct coding practice when performing a diagnostic test for a patient already diagnosed with the condition? Option A. Always use a screening code. Option B. Use a diagnostic code, not a screening code. Option C. Code for both the diagnosis and symptoms. Option D. Only use the ICD-10 code for the condition being treated. The right answer is Option B. Use a diagnostic code, not a screening code. If the patient is already diagnosed with the condition, diagnostic codes should be used rather than screening codes which are used for patients without the condition. So that's it for today. Thanks for watching. I will see you in the next video.